Hello, I'm Julian from Anthony's Espresso Equipment, and here today I'm going to be talking to you about um, our newest uh, fully automatic machine from DeLonghi, the Alita Explore. Uh, to start off, I'd just like to go through what comes in the package if you purchase this machine. So to start, you get our the machine itself. You get our two uh, milk frothers, one that's designated for hot uh, milk, and the other one that's designated for cold. You also get the descaler, a filter, a scoop, brush, an ice tray, and this nice travel mug as well. Um, in terms of the mechanics of the machine, you have a colonical burr grinder. It's set to about 13 settings. You could go anywhere between one to 13 and any point in, in between. Um, in terms of the water, it holds 1.78 uh, liters and the grinder holds 300 grams of coffee. Um, so with that being said, let's go through the functionality of the machine. So we'll start off going through some drinks. Now in terms of the machine itself, you have an option of setting up three, uh, four different types of profiles. With those profiles, you could customize your drinks based off how strong you want your espresso to be. So let's start off with uh, a drink. So we'll start off with the cold option, the newest function in this machine. So we'll start off with a ice drink. So here you'll just go to cold. Then you'll go to the option that you want. So we'll do, a, we'll do an iced cappuccino. Choose your ice if you want to do ice or extra ice. So we'll do ice. We'll hit next. So now we'll tell you to put in six cubes of the Delonghi ice. So this comes with the package and we'll add our six cubes. So not only for a cappuccino, I recommend going anywhere between four to five. cold frother there we go so once we hit brew it'll tell us to set our position to cappuccino foam once that's set up it will be in the process And there you go, a nice cappuccino ready to go. Good. Once you're done steaming your milk and your drink's ready, the screen will tell you to set it to the position to dial to the clean position. What this does is I'll run water through the steamer, rinse it out so you're ready to go for your next um, coffee. Shabana. So we'll go through our hot frothing now. So we'll make a hot latte macchiato. So you just hit the hot options and it'll give you all the drinks that they does hot frothing with. So we'll do a latte macchiato. We have our size. We'll do our intensity to three. And if this is the profile you like and you're on yours, all you have to do is hit the heart and I'll save it to your favorites. So let's hit brute. I'll tell you what to do. So if you're doing a skim milk or um, alternative uh, milk, just make sure it's chilled first before you go through the frothing process. All right, so we do that. And that's gonna tell me to go on the medium side. So this will, medium one here is more for your latte foam. This one here is gonna be more for your flat whites. And then the last one is more for your cappuccino frothing.
And there you go, your latte macchiato. So next we'll make an Americano, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're actually gonna use the to-go mug that's provided with from, with the machine. Uh, so what's cool about this machine, that it actually has a to-go option where you can fit 16 ounce cups in underneath it. So to, for that, you just hit to-go, then start. So we'll hit the large button, or oh, we'll say medium. Next. Next you're gonna be doing the size of your mug. So we'll say, we'll do hot drinks. So now we're on a hot drink menu. So we'll put our mug underneath, and then we'll go to the Americano. So there you have it. That's how the Elite Explorer creates your both cold drinks and your hot drinks. One other thing I also want to mention is that if you purchase the machine, you download the app, you'll be able to um, have access to a very interesting feature. It's called the bean adaption feature. What that means is that if you go between a dark roast, medium roast, or light roasted coffee, you'll be able to access this feature and specify what kind of roasting profile you use, and the machine will um, adjust itself for that, for that bean, whether it's a lower temperature um, or pressure to extract the best quality from those different types of options. Um, so there you have it. One thing I also recommend as well is the coffee I used today was our um, Barocco uh, Grand Crema. It comes out really well with this machine, so I highly recommend it as well. So until next time, have yourself a good one.